This use case is focused on the need to have business controls around certain requests. While speed of delivery and self-service are key features of any cloud solution, there are often times when either preventing abuse or the regulatory environment of an enterprise dictates that certain actions require approval before fulfillment. Having a cloud management platform that can easily enforce those rules when required is a must-have for most enterprises. This use case shows how quickly an existing workflow can be modified to require approval after being requested. So you'll see right here I've logged into the Business Process Designer again, and I'm working with the same workflow that we were using in the previous exercise that deploys a virtual machine, and after it's created, creates a configuration item in our CMDB. For the approval, I'm going to leverage some of our out-of-the-box content in the form of one of our toolkits that predefines how to request approval from someone within IBM Cloud Orchestrator. Specifically, we'll be using the SC Orchestrator toolkit, so if I expand that and I look at the processes that are defined in it, you'll notice that one of the business process definitions is called Sample Deploy Instance Approval. So I'm just going to drag that from my list of available processes onto my canvas, and you'll notice this time I did it in the team lane. This indicates to the system that I want a person involved in this activity as opposed to just progressing through programmatically. So I'll reroute the connector so we know when to go get approval. We'll do that after going and getting our input parameters. And I'll also include a decision gateway down here to check whether the process was approved or not. And I'll go ahead and wire that in too. So from the approval, we want to check the condition. And if it's approved, we'll deploy the virtual machine. And if it isn't approved, we need to skip the deployment and just go to the end and notify the user that the request was rejected. So there is one more step required before we can test this, and that's we need to map some variables to the various processes and the decision gateway that we added. So I'll go to the data mapping of my deploy instance approval, and I'll use the quick select to pass the operation context from this level process to the sub process. And I'll also store the reason that was provided by the approver as well as a Boolean variable that says, was this actually approved? Now that we have the variables mapped, we also need to use them within our decision tree or our decision gateway. So if I go down to implementation, we want to go to the end if our tw.local.is approved is equal to false. So if it's not approved, go to the end essentially. Now let's go ahead and click save. And the next thing we really need to do is go ahead and test this within the IBM Cloud Orchestrator web UI. So when I switch over to that, you'll notice I'm logged in as the line of business user, so a non-privileged user that likely would require approval on certain actions. And we'll use our self-service catalog. I'll go into the demo offerings and use our custom orchestration offering. We'll give it a server name. We'll say approval test. And I'll leave the rest of the defaults, and I'll click deploy. We see the request has been submitted. If we track the status in the request application, we notice that there is a task now called approve the deployment of virtual system requested by line of business user. So we'll log out as the line of business user. And now we'll assume that we are the administrator. I'll log in. And immediately on my dashboard, I see that there's a new to do. There's also one that pops up here in the inbox. So if I click on any of those, we see that same task name. I'll go ahead and claim it. I'll say rejected end of month processing. So maybe we have a batch job going on and we don't have test instances or whatever it happens to be. But for some reason, we do want to reject the request. So I'll click reject. We see that it's been removed from the inbox. And then either as the administrator or the line of business user, we could go back over into the request application we see that we hit a different icon, the little minus sign in the middle that says status is rejected. The reason was end of month processing, no capacity. And so once again, I showed how we can use some drag and dropping of existing processes to add approvals to just about any process that we could introduce within IBM Cloud Orchestrator.